live. Hey folks, Chef Jay here at uh, the Freshwater Cuisine Test Kitchen. Uh, welcome to uh, Late to Plate. Uh, and today's an actual special day for us because we're going to give a tribute to uh, one of the legends in the culinary world. Uh, his name is Chef Donald, um, Donald Roy. Uh, you know, the, the special thing about Donald and I, I grew up with Donald uh, my whole entire life. Uh, we were best friends. Uh, we had a connection with food, which was uh, exciting. And that's the exciting thing about Donald. He, he can understand, he understood spices and he understood herbs and he understood fish and he understood vegetables and he put them together and he made these really 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 sexy delicious dishes and um when i came back in 2015 i uh i launched a, a, a steak on a menu at the boathouse called the uh donald's flair and we used his spices and uh i was really touched by the fact that his family allowed me to do that and uh <clears throat> i'm really honored today that his family let me launch the walleye wings and uh, on the the Donald's flair on the walleye wings today. Uh, so thank you, Judy, uh, Jojo, Libby, Ashley, uh, Linda, Darlene, no, not Darlene, Debbie, and uh, Uncle Donald for uh, giving me the opportunity to keep uh, the legend alive and his recipes moving forward. So uh, what are we doing today, Torn? We are making walleye wings in what style, Jay? Uh, we're going to do it in the Donald's Flair, so here's a nice picture of the walleye wings. Uh, and we're also going to be doing uh, an ancho barbecue sauce. We soak these raisins right here uh, in dark rum. You can use any kind of rum. You don't have to use dark rum. You, we use Captain Morgan's rum. Uh, and we're also using local herbs today. Torn? Local? Yeah, we got them, what, this morning? We got them this morning from the farmer's market from, uh, who was it again? Honey? Honey Mill Farms in... Uh, Waldorf. Waldorf. And we also got some local uh, cabbage from them. And we got these local carrots. Where did we get these local carrots from? Uh, we got them from Joe's wife, Rose. Rose, yes. So they have a nice garden down the street and uh, they're supporting that. And then, of course, we have the local fish that comes from freshwater cuisine. Uh, so let's get this thing rolling, Torn. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add the spices. So uh, Donald liked to play on a lot of uh, spicy things. So we like to use ancho chili. Uh, chili pepper, a couple tablespoons of this in here, one, two. He also loved the uh, ground mustard. Can't go wrong with ground mustard, eh, Torn? No, although I like my mustard in the liquid yeah. form. <laughs> Do you even like ground mustard, Torn? Yeah, it's debatable. Yeah, it's debatable. Some pepper. I like to use ground pepper. Cumin. Donald loved cumin. I love cumin. You love cumin, Torn? Key component of a nice barbecue sauce component and of curry too right which we'll be doing a curry uh, walleye wing one of these episodes and then we also got to throw in some salt I always like to use kosher salt and you can't go wrong with actually this is exciting what is this torn that is coffee from one of Kenora's finest coffee shops one of the finest and one of my favorite people where we go every morning we head down to Hojo's this is a medium grind coffee so go check out Mella at Hojo's. She has an amazing coffee. My favorite is what, Torn? You like an iced coffee, but I'm not really quite sure what's in it other than skim milk. Because <laughs> I'm on a diet, right? So we uh, we put a tablespoon of coffee in there. So, and then, uh, then we give her a stir. Mix her up. I like to let her sit overnight. 24 hours is better. Um, let's everything marry together. And... Uh, away we go right so let's throw this in the fridge torn let her sit for a bit okay so how long would that typically sit overnight that's going to sit overnight for 24 hours uh then i pull it out so you know you can go down to your local butcher shop pick up our local walleye wings you can marinate them in the sauce or in the rub i should say and by the next day seven minutes i'm going to show you an amazing meal right okay so we're going to kick her into the uh the tangy local coleslaw so we're using local cabbage So the good thing about this time of year is everything's local, right? And everything tastes better because it is local. So I like to just uh, cut the cabbage nice and fine like that. Now we've got to find the bowl torn. Hey, you know what? Let's mix her up in the uh, one of these, eh? Right in the wok. Right in the wok. I like the wok here at Freshwater Cuisine. Then I like to uh, 
take the carrots. I like to cut them in half. Do you peel the carrots first? No, I don't like to peel the carrots because there's a lot of nutrients in the skin, right? Well, I get rid of the good stuff since I am on a diet, right? I'm on a diet. Your boyish figure. <laughs> so I like to keep the skin on and uh, I like to julienne it. What does julienne mean? I don't know. I haven't watched enough cooking network. Haven't watched enough of the Food Network, eh? So julienne means uh, matchstick style. Uh, and I also like to put my salad dressing in and let it sit for about half an hour to uh, 45 minutes. Uh, so it makes everything soft. And al dente, you know what al dente is, Torn? A little dense. A little dense? Are you Italian? Well, maybe it hurt. A little bit of hurt, eh? Okay, so we put that in there. And then, uh, then I mix up my... Uh, my uh, vinaigrette, which we're using today, we're using apple cider. Is this for the coleslaw? This is for the coleslaw. So, uh, a little bit of apple cider vinegar. You can use whatever kind of vinegar. You could use uh, white wine vinegar, red wine vinegar. I like to use olive oil, because we're healthy, right, Torn? Yeah. A little bit of olive oil in there. Then, to set off the sourness of the apple, I throw in some honey, a little bit of maple syrup, How's that for the diet? Well, this is all low fat stuff, didn't you? Yeah. See the, for the diet. Can't you see the six pack? A little bit of salt, some pepper. Give her a stir. Put it right in there. So this would be different from your usual creamy coleslaw, right? Yes, yeah, so this is uh, a vinaigrette uh, coleslaw versus your creamy coleslaw. Then I like to use fresh dill, right? Can't go wrong with fresh, so I take a little sprig here. Take a little bit of mint, right? Some mint. Mint just adds a nice little pop to it. I keep the stems in there and everything. See that? I was doing a little sway. Extra fiber, right? <laughs> Yep, keep the stems in there, use it all, you know. I don't like to waste anything. That's what freshwater cuisine is based on, right? We don't waste anything at freshwater cuisine. We use everything we can possibly use. And it's just like anything else. If you're using vegetables or you're using fruit or anything like that, that's where all the nutrients is, is in those parts that people actually throw away. So I just fine chopped this down, Torn. Can you smell that? Smell the mint and the dill and... It certainly smells fresh in here. It's fresh. Then I just add it to my coleslaw like this. Bada bing, bada boom, eh? Then we give her a little stir. Add a little bit of ancho in there. Always gotta remember Donnie. Little ancho in there. Give her a little stir. Gotta love the walk, eh, Torn? What beats stirring a coleslaw than stirring it in a walk? What isn't it good for? It's good for everything, right? Boom! How sexy is that, Torn? So I let that sit in the fridge for about 25, half an hour. Gets everything congealed together, brings the uh, the uh, vegetables to an al dente, bada bing, bada boom. So that's two things, eh? Let's move into the barbecue sauce. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw our raisins in the uh, food processor. So those raisins have been sitting overnight. I like to throw them in overnight. I don't uh, I don't like to use them right away. Then we throw some maple syrup in there, Torn. So what is the barbecue sauce for? So what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna dip the uh, Donald's Flair walleye wings into the barbecue sauce. We're gonna use the the uh, coleslaw to bring it all together in a sweet, nice flavor. We got some honey going in there, and then we got uh, some salt and pepper going in there. What's the main component of uh, barbecue sauce, Torn? Well, I'm no chef, but I am quite sure it's ketchup. Ketchup! Yeah, absolutely right. Ketchup. We throw a little bit of uh, salt in there too. Then we throw a little bit of, uh, this one's uh, my all-time favorite. Donald used to always use this, uh, horseradish. You know, gives it a little, picks it up a little bit, right? Throw some horseradish in there. And then our favorite, Torn, ketchup. So we toss the ketchup in here. So you can cook a barbecue sauce, or you can just have a barbecue sauce as is. I like to throw a little bit of uh, water in there. Let me just get some water here. Boom. If you don't have a food processor at home, a blender will work. Where's the lid torn? There's the lid torn. 
Then you just let her go until she's nice and smooth. And look at the colors, the horseradish is coming through, the raisin. The raisins is going to give it a nice earthy flavor. The rum is going to give it a nice sweet flavor. You got the sugar in there. I let her go for a minute or so so it's nice and smooth. You got to eat up those raisins. While we're doing that, let's pop the walleye wings in the... Uh, so here's our walleye wings coloring after 24 hours. Beautiful, eh? So that's the uh, Donald Flair walleye wing. Boom. Barbecue sauce, just like that. How do you like that one, Torn? Smells phenomenal. So we got our barbecue sauce ready. I like to just throw it into some heat on a pot in a, on the stove here. Oh, that's sexy. Smell that? You can really smell the horseradish. Yeah, we like the horseradish around here. So, add a little bit more water. The raisins made it nice and a little uh, congealed. Let that, let that uh, come to a boil. While we're doing that, we can toss in our walleye wings. So today we're actually going to do the walleye wings where torn? In the deep fryer. In the deep fryer. How did we do it last week? Last week we did it actually in the wok. We did it in the wok! Where the coleslaw is at today, eh? Oh boy. Well throwing them in the deep fryer can't be good for your diet. Well this is low fat oil. It's like extra virgin oil or something like that. I don't know. But anyways, you just toss your wings in there. I hope your wife's not watching. My wife is probably not watching. Uh, so you just toss your wings in there. These take no time at all. Uh, three minutes at the most. They're gonna come out golden brown. Beautiful. How do you know when the walleye wings are done? They start floating. Isn't that something? They start floating. Hear that, Torn? That's music to our ears. So you set your oil at uh, 325. I don't like to set it at 350. Uh, I just find it's too hot. So I like to cook things low and slow. Um, just how we like it around here. So I give her a little stir. Can you tell, did you notice one thing though? We're using Hamilton Beach and Hamilton Beach. I just noticed that. Are they paying us? I hope they're going to pay us at some point in life, right? Okay, so we got our sexy bowl here again, Torn. Beautiful, isn't it? We're going to put everything in there. And uh, let's let the walleye wings uh, cook up. Oh, we do that. Put our uh, oh coleslaw. So how long does the coleslaw? Been so like sitting? I said, I like to let the coleslaw sit in there for 25 minutes, half an hour, right? Now for me, it's just perfect. See how this is here? See how this here is kind of stiff to work with, right? This one here, see how it's more. Mmm. Yeah, that's it. So then we just take a dollop of this right in the middle. Bam. Bam. Oh, that's a nice looking bit of coleslaw. Then we take our sauce, the barbecue sauce. And that's okay. been boiling what? For two minutes? Yeah, two minutes. Should it condense in the uh, on the pot? Well, you can let it go for as long as you want to let it go, right? I just like to warm it up a bit with our wings. You know, look how sexy those are looking. Beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? So here's the thing why we're doing Walleye Wings Wednesday recipes is to show you guys how many ways you can cook our walleye wings. Our walleye wings just don't have to be breaded. Our walleye wings can come unbreaded. I've showed you two ways already in the last two weeks how to do them. We have a million ways that we can cook these things. We're going to also show you how to use other fish, like what, Torn? White fish. We're going to show you how to use white fish. We're going to show you how to use what else? Perch. Perch. We're going to show you how to use perch. How killer is perch, eh? Oh, perch is phenomenal. That's what about it. everyone's favorite northern pike? Northern pike. Now, that's one of my favorite fishes, northern pike. You know what? I actually like, look at that, Torn. It's starting to boil. It's coming right to where I like it to be. Nice. See that? Beautiful. I take the it off the heat. Floating? 
The wings are starting to float. Look at the caramelization from the coffee from Hojo's. The sugar. That is money there. So, like I was saying, we want to show you guys how many ways you can cook our walleye wings. We want to show you all the beautiful freshwater fish that we have out here in northwestern Ontario, which we have a ton of, right? The northern pike is my favorite. We have so many different ways we're going to show you how to do it. Uh, you know, next week... Uh, what are we going to do next week? That's a great question. I think we might want to touch on about how much we love products in the northwestern Ontario region and how we're always looking for new ideas and different products to collaborate with. That's it. So, you know, I like to be, uh, I like to be as local as possible. I like bringing people's names into the place. I love uh, using local ingredients. So next week, I think what we're going to do, no, I think next week we're going to do the Forgotten Lake Blueberry Ale from the brew pub thanks to Taraz uh, and we're going to do some beer battered walleye wings with what kind of sauce what kind of sauce should we do to them? what kind of sauce now that is a chef's question right so should we be using uh local blueberries from joe's wife and make a blueberry sauce now wouldn't that be something that would be sexy okay so we put our barbecue sauce right here boom then we take our walleye wings smell delicious for it. Oh, this place smells amazing right now. So then I like to, you know how, you know how I am, eh? So I like to just take these, we're gonna just put them right So on. how many wings would you recommend to a plate? I say we go six. Six wings is a good portion. Look at that, Torn. Huh. Now, now if you were to go to a restaurant, what would that cost you? You know, I wouldn't have it on the menu any lower than uh, $12.99. You know, I'd try and shoot for $14.99 myself. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's beautiful, isn't it, Torn? Look at the look at the meat. This is this is interesting. Look at the meat come off the walleye wings, right? It's just phenomenal. It's white. It's caramelized. It's ready to eat. You know that that's ready to eat. And this is a piece of bycatch that people used to throw away. Is that crazy, Torn? It's it's, 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 well, that's why freshwater cuisine's around, right? No. We're here to show you how to use all the underutilized, all the undervalued fish. This is it. This is a big tribute, big shout out to my brother Don, who's up uh, upstairs watching over me. Uh, this is the Donald's Flare walleye wings with a tangy local uh, slaw with a nice barbecue sauce. Next week, we're going to do the uh, Forgotten Blueberry Ale barbecued walleye wings. Stay tuned till next week. Thanks very much.